we're going to make some fermented pepper sauce with our peppers from last season. Um, the fridge can't hold anymore, so we have to process these peppers. Um, I'm going to cut the stems off these um, red habanero peppers. There are a few other types. Sakaila and Ilali is in there. And um, I'm going to remove the stems and put them in the jars. Some beautiful red Jamaican scotch bonnet. Tastes so much like a bell pepper and a scotch bunny had a baby so sweet and there's some tobago seasoned pepper in here as well give it a little bit of flavor um here's another one tobago season we had these peppers in the freezer um over a year and we've um, processed a lot of peppers but we seem to can come to the end of the pile a great and, fortune my bounty yeah and we've yeah. we've given away a lot of peppers so we are grateful for the really little pepper plant that we planted that's given us so much bounty so that we could share with others, share with our neighbors, family and friends, and still have so much more. So I'm continuing to de stem these peppers next i'm going to add them to these jars here and add some of this brine it's what three percent salt it's pink himalayan salt and um yeah we're gonna fill up these jars we don't have any weights to hold down the peppers um to keep them submerged under the salt water so we're gonna use bags of um water we hope that works <laughs> and we're gonna put this on our counter for a week and then blend it and we'll have fermented pepper sauce so it's a lacto-fermentation the three percent means three percent of the volume the weight of all the peppers and the water together three percent of that is how much salt you want to put in there. We have about three tablespoons for each liter of water. I'm getting more brine. I'm sorry, each quart of one. Three tablespoons for each quart of water. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm leave if you do the maths you know. Yeah, I, I thought I was ready. <laughs> My father don't tell me already, so it looks like the maths are being a bud. So I don't even try. To um, calculate nothing too fast. So we're adding um, peppers to these jars. I added two cloves of garlic. And you think this is good? Yeah, Feel it like yeah, enough room for the bag with the water. And as it ferments, I think the kind of garlic makes it. Maybe there's just little bubbles in there that makes it good. Oh. Ooh. All right, then, like, go. Oh, seems like I have more people than this. And this, you know. you know, you can't push them down in there. You don't have to, yeah, too much space. Yeah, you can push them down with your fingers. You want there to be enough room on the top, but oh, yeah, oh, I can't push them down, man. Yeah. So, we just can't make everything fit. Yeah, okay, the good, good one. The good one, yeah, we said
Yep. Put that on there. Put that on. Oh, and if I put these in this, don't forget the garlic. All right. Little in some warm salty water. Some brain. So you want to make sure all the plant matter is completely submerged. It's kind of messy. It might like, I can see for like a little bit now. You might be good. You sure? Yeah. We'll put this in there. Yeah, just watch for the stuff to overflow. That doesn't like push down the plant material, you see? Mm-hmm. It's okay if it overflows a little bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, push it down, man. Yeah. And then you can just put the rubber band there around the top of it. Okay. Uh, top of it. We, we use a bag of water so to submerge the peppers. And we're going to do it with this one as well. We're going to put these down um, counter on our countertops um, for a week. And after a week, we're going to blend them and have delicious hot sauce. So now it's one week since we've put our fermented peppers to um, ferment on the countertops. And now we're going to blend them for hot sauce. All right. Let's see if this is a good amount to start with. What do you think? Blend it up. Pepper spray yourself. Careful. Boom, Fresh air. Boom, Step out. Step out. Step out. Wow. This is serious. This is a really This is some serious stuff. <coughs> this is no joke. I'm... Which one do you want to put it in? I'm thinking the blue one. Mm -hmm. Intense. And stay away from this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. Careful. You want me to take over? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's hard. I'm going to rinse this stuff out. So, <coughs> this is the Patali hot sauce. Should we? Patali X sugar rush peach. Patali sugar rush peach. And um, <coughs> should we do another? Um, so, they're still fermenting, although you could try one. You want to check them? Mm -hmm. Let's see what the bubbling activity is like. Look at this one. Ooh. Lots of bubbles. <laughs> um and actually germinated seeds. What? <laughs> That's funny. 
Hey, Ava. You like peppers? Uh oh. She has the windows open. That's why she turned around. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. You want to do the others? What is yeah. this, the red scotch bonnet, Pepper? Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of bubbling activity. You ready? Mm -hmm. <coughs> the air is impotent. Hey, hey, hey! I told you she wants to jump out this window. Eva, don't. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Bad girl. Anyway, this actually worked. You know, everybody says you can fill a Ziploc bag and try to push down the peppers with it and just place the water or whatever. It was kind of tricky to get it right, but it could work. Now we have all these Ziploc bags of water that are very spicy. I'm going to give that a quick blend. That's right. How you feeling after the super hot? You know, the scotch bonnets are hot, but I don't think there's a lot of people in this one. Yeah, the fatale is crazy. That one is actually very psychotic. <clears throat> yeah, I got to put your head out the window over here to get a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Careful, I meant none of that splash for me. <laughs> But why did you sit in my splash radio? See how to see how um skilled you are. There's spelling layers looking over here. So how do you know which one did the right one? Um I do my best. I think yes. I feel like I've gotten the ones that are like the most obvious to really. <clears throat> wow, bless you. That's some serious stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I think it's just a left of a fatality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much water did you put in? I didn't put in a lot. I started with a little bit. And was this one and the other one the same? Do we want to mix them together and just turn both in the straight rum bottle? Or do you want to keep them separate? Or do you want to let the other one turn out longer and compare? Because they're both red scotch bonnet, right? Yeah, I think I'm both red scotch bonnet. This one thicker you could have. <laughs> Too thick? Mm -hmm. Thin it out? Yeah, you can thin it out with the next batch. No, you need to thin it out to be for it to be able to go on that. You want me to pass the other one? No, I'm just adding a little more of a little bit. Okay. What do you think? Are you ready to do it? Mm -hmm. Ava is looking at you crazy. Ava, I just had banging into that. Ava, you don't know nothing about that stuff. You do the blender, yeah, seriously. Ava never had an emo phase. But she is very emo. That's true. I'm spiritually emo, but she doesn't know about that. Culture of the early 2000s. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> you alright? Mm -hmm. last thing my brother's bringing you? Mm -hmm. These ones too are kind of spicy in the Korean red chili. So, in this video, we're doing two types of um, pepper preservation we're drying. We're we fermenting. Ava? I think that's cool. That is cool. Would you be able to pass me the next? Sure. 
again. There you go. I have this one fermented. This is some good bubbles in here. Some nice ones, better than the other one. Oh, hard to say. It's hard for me Ava, to no. bubbles, you know, qualitatively. Yeah. yeah, that's why I have this towel here, but I definitely spilled some. Stain. Yep, yep, yep. It smells so nice and fruity, though. You know, the um, the a different type of fruit peach was pure heat. Yeah, and this just smells really juicy and fruity and nice. No, <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's nice. Careful. What happens when you process pepper? Process peppers. Um, what's another way we process our? Oh, we're going to be using our dried peppers or dried red peppers <clears throat> to make um, pepper flakes mm -hmm. to make dried um, seasoning blends. <clears throat> yeah, you could try to make um, gochujang with those. Uh, So there's a moment when you see the seeds and then you see them pulverize and no longer exist and just become part of the sauce. And that's the best so part. You know, you're getting to the sweet spot. You feel good? Just watch it. You know, it's, so, it's kind of thick, so I wanted to drip down. I don't want to lose. Oh my gosh. Just, and the way um, <clears throat> we still have like gallons of peppers in the freezer. So we have a lot more processing to do. Um, we weren't so good at processing our harvests last year. We preserved it well. It's mostly in the yeah. freezer. <laughs> yeah, we preserved it. The freezer's it. full. Yep. But this year we've done better. And we're sharing it with you. Because um, <clears throat> we are just trying to keep up. Trying to keep up with all this. I have a lot of extra. Oh, whoa. I'm find a small bottle. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe this one. This bottle? Mm hmm. A certain size. Wow. That's, That's scotch crazy. Right there. Red scotchy. It's real nice. And so fruity and sweet. So I can't imagine how spicy and sweet this sauce is. So good. It's going to be great. And for much of the year, this table was covered in produce. <clears throat> and just to be like able to get to the bottom or, or have this table cleared, I'm really proud of us. To see the table. To it. actually be able to see the table. It's a miracle. You guys have no idea. I think like since like July, most of our time is like harvesting and processing the harvest. Would you say that way? Like in the garden. I would say we put we don't spend as much time processing on air on land. Yeah. We kind of just keep stuff fresh, maybe freeze it if we can. Yeah. Um, you give away a lot. Hit home around a certain time. 
because the abundance flows. Mm -hmm. And it's like, dang, we want this bounty to last. Forever. Or at least until next year's bounty comes through. But it doesn't work like that. Well, for some things it does. For our peppers it did. Yeah. You can't have night that for like kale. Stuff like that. Although if we, you know. Well, we are in anyway. a good situation. We could probably have kale most of the year, or most of the winter. Mm -hmm. Most of the cold season. Probably one like you're a baby kale and not fall for being dead, but it's not moving. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. You have to get it going before it goes. Yeah, it's definitely still baby stages. I think I found it over by the sorghum or something, some random place, and I was like, oh. See if it wants to work. Oh, those are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Make lovely Christmas decor. For all year, really. Some hot scotch bunny pepper sauce in rum bottles. Classic. Beautiful. Thank you. Now we've got more hot sauce, and this might look like a lot, but we go through them pretty fast. And serving suggestion, I feel like the heat mellows out after the first four or five days. So mm -hmm. I'll probably set these down for the next week or whatever until we finish the hot sauce that we already have. Because if we use it right now, it might knock our face socks off. off. Well, socks and everything else. Whatever off. And it'll knock everything off. Everything's done. Wow. <laughs> for real. So that's how it's done. That's how we make our fermented hot sauce. Thanks for sticking it out with us. Peace.